welcome to another Tool Time Tuesday. I'm Melissa Muir. In this video, I'm going to kind of continue with another series that I have done previously where we run different items over. My girls are thrilled and excited because they keep asking for more videos where we run things over with the car. So the question has come up once again regarding some of the pancake dies uh, with from Kevin Potter at PotterUSA.com. And the question always is, I don't have a hydraulic press. Can I hammer this? Or can I run over a pancake die with my car and have it give me the same effect? So obviously you want to be very careful with your tools and running over your tools is not very, it's not usually a very good idea. Let's just say that. But I have a die here that I'm going to sacrifice for you guys so I can show you what happens when you run over something with your car. So in this case, I have a bracelet die. This is his B002 bracelet die. It's kind of a thicker one. I like this die a lot. Uh, I make a lot of bracelets with this. And I also have some 18 gauge copper. This is hard. You do not ever want to try to use soft metal with your pancake dies because a lot of times it won't cut it. It will just kind of stretch it and then you end up with these huge burrs. But what we're really concerned about in this particular experience is what's going to happen to my die. Is it going to ruin it? Is it going to be okay? But let's go out and try this out and see what happens. Now the car that we're going to be using in this video is a Tesla Model X. Now if you know anything about the Model X's or anything about the Teslas, they are electric cars. And that means that they have a lot of batteries. And so they are a very heavy car. So we are definitely going to have some good pressure on this, but let's check it out now. So in this case, this is the car that we're going to be using. Like I said, it's a Tesla Model X and Riley is thrilled and over the moon because it is the first time I will ever let her drive this thing. So now I've placed this down and you can see how I've placed it so that when she runs over the top part of the die, it should press through to the metal and cut that out to the bottom. Normally, like I said, we would do this in a hydraulic press, but I wanted to show you this. And I highly suggest you don't do this unless you're really willing to sacrifice your die. Okay, so just looking briefly at this, it looks like perhaps there might be a little portion of a cut in it, but not a full cut for sure. And she did go over it slow. You can see also where the tire marks are. And I might just move this and let her back up and back over it as well. Okay, Riley, run back over it one more time. And once again, we really don't have anything that has happened here. And now we have some silly antics with all three of the girls. Yeah. Tell everybody Happy New Year. Happy New Year! All right, was it gonna be a great year? Yeah. Good job, I love guys. Christmas. So how did we fare? Let's take a look at this. So this is what we have now, and you can see you know, it's bent the metal a little bit right here, but nothing major. And that can easily be changed because all you'd have to do is cut that down. So that's really not an issue. We look here at the back. Again, no real damage. There is definitely a little bit of road rash just from the uh, surface of the driveway. But other than that, again, nothing major. If I pull this out, I have nothing. There's no cut at all so what I was thinking I was seeing I really wasn't there was no cut because what has now happened though is you can kind of see here see if I can find this here for you so before my die would come up at an angle and it would stay at that so now what's happened is it's come up and now it's flattened down as well so I have changed a little bit of my die by putting some of the pressure on this. But even though the car was heavy, it was not enough pressure because you really have to have that solid pressure to kind of come down onto this. It was not enough to give it the pressure that it needs to cut through this. So I would say that running this over, even with a nice heavy car, 
obviously you can see a car is not going to give you the kind of result that you would really want. <laughs>